Okay, welcome everybody to another League with Black Green Rock. Again, running Lurus as the companion. Um, not much change from the last time I played, which was uh, admittedly a while ago. But um, yeah, running the full eight discard, um, the, the kind of more aggressive version with the uh, hex drinkers and things. Um, no Liliana, which is a, is a shame as, as always, but um, lots of removal. Um, let's see how Rock is positioned at the moment. I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, if you want to see more uh, more of this sort of content, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Um, playing a lot of sort of mid-range decks most of the time, so um, yeah. And do let us know in the comments what you think. But for now, let's get into round number one. Okay, so going to be on the draw here. Uh, yeah, we see a good hand um, against the Lurus deck, so could be um, could be anything on the other side. But we've got Inquisition into a threat. There's been a lot of um, burn and prowess around at the moment, which may make this uh, start confidant not good if this is what it is, but. see uh, it is some sort of aggressive deck so this is probably burn um, is it I don't think I'm gonna take two damage here I think we're just gonna play one kind of mana behind curve um, may have been worth shocking in for an idle on to take try and take idle on um, Okay, hey, there's a lava dart. Okay, that's one my opponent has though. So um, we're just going to go ahead. We don't actually have to do that now. Yeah, we're just going to um, decay the swift spear. Opponent short on land. So we're definitely going to decay this before, uh, before damage. Case my opponent is holding a light up the stage. Then this turn, um, I think we're just going to Inquisition play Hex Drinker, and then play an Overgrown Tomb Tapped, because we're going to want to potentially um, scavenging ooze next turn. Okay, so. We have got an answer for this. I think I'm just going to take Manamorphose here. Uh, we could take the Gut Shot because that does deal with Hex Drinker. I'm going to take the Gut Shot. Um, play Hex Drinker. Pass the turn. Yeah, we have an answer for this uh, this Luminancer. Opponent is short on lands, which is um, unfortunate for them. So it's tempting to try and level this up. I think that's what we're gonna go for here. in for four and this way we get to hold up this fatal push as well opponent's still looking for that next land flashing back lava dart okay <laughs> light up the stage they do find another land So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and push that. No point in taking more more damage. Um, we could field a ruin here, but I don't think we're going to. I think we're just gonna scavenging ooze, and then we'll um, go ahead and make scoos a four right now, so that it can't be lightning bolted. 
obviously gains us a little bit of life as well um, and our opponent is not that far away from being dead next turn um, yes yeah, so I think my opponent, yeah my opponent's just dead we can decay this and then eat it with scavenging ooze attack for nine yeah, opponent got unlucky to only hit one land there, but we'll um, we'll take the win. Okay, so this is a red-white prowess. So we're going to want to get rid of all of our dark confidants. They're a bit of a liability. Um, Heartless Axe can come in. Engineered Explosives, Maelstrom Pulse. Obviously, both collective brutalities. All of the thought seizes can go. Knight's Whisper can probably be thought about going. Assassin's Trophy can come in. And then it's between, I think it's between Spell Bomb, Reign of Tears, and Thought Seize for the last two cards. Obviously, Assassin's Trophy isn't ideal, but it, if it's, you know, one big creature like a Kiln Fiend or a Luminance that we need to kill, then that's obviously fine. I think we're going to bring in one spell bomb, and I think just two spell bombs is the way to go. Um, spell bomb obviously deals with lava dart lurus. Um, Put a pair of night vision goggles, camouflage. Okay, so we will declare lurus as a companion. Um, no, the, hmm. I mean it's got a removal spell, but. An early Assassin's Trophy isn't really what you want to be doing. We've got five lands. We're going to mulligan this. Uh, sadly, we have to mulligan this as well. Uh, if we hit a Blooming Marsh off the top, then we're good. But okay, this is better. Um, so we need to put two on the bottom. So we'll bottom the Field of Ruin, and then I think we'll bottom one Hex Drinker. Um, Inquisition into Tarmogoyf is very good in this matchup. We are missing a removal spell, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, so let's Inquisition my opponent. See what they're working with. Okay, another one lander. Um, I think we're just going to take the next threat. Um, double gut shot. Yeah, we're going to take the threats here. Um, opponent drawing a card, looking for their second land. They do find it this time. Oh, they found a Luminancer as well. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, so Inquisition is actually pretty good. So we can now go Inquisition and then Hex Drinker. Hex Drinker probably on blocking duty here. Um, I think we're just going to take a gut shot. So if we take a gut shot. I don't think it really matters. Hmm, I guess our Hex Drinker is going to die to one of these, but every spell they point at our, our creatures is a spell that they're not going to point at us. So let's take a gut shot here. We'll go and grab a forest. The plan here is to, um, yeah, we're kind of going to throw this Hex Drinker under the bus, I think. Um, we'll we'll take the we'll take the block if we can. Um, obviously, Hexring will then die, but then we'll play the Goyf, which is obviously rather big. Okay, yeah, so lava dart. We're going to take a big hit here. Yeah, we are going to take a big hit here. Oh crikey, they found me genetic growth as well. 
so that's yeah we're taking a shot for 12 here and the flashback lava dart that's actually just it uh, yeah opponent finding mutagenic growth off the top and that really giving us the business there okay so I think um, yeah mulliganing is obviously not ideal we need we really do need sort of removal I think um, but I think we're just going to run it back So we would like to play first. See what we can can do. It's fine. Um, Mana base is fairly painless. It's got a goif. It's got a removal spell. It's got a scoos. Um, yeah. So, you know, we, we we could do finding one more land, I suppose, but. Okay, so I think we're just going to instantly, um, oh yeah, now that we've found the second abrupt decay. Yeah, I'm just gonna decay the soul scar mage, makes it less likely that my opponent can light up the stage next turn. Doing that before combat, we don't really want my opponent to um, find a You know, some way of blocking Hex Trinker and that's not getting in for damage. Opponent missing a land again using the crash through. Uh, we do miss a land as well. Um, we'll see what they're finding. Okay, so it's not a land, so um, we're probably okay to just deploy this Goyf. Uh, now that my opponent is um, uh, is under the, the gun here. Gut shot, light up the stage. Okay, so they do find some stuff. But we're gonna get to abrupt decay, the luminancer. Um, I think we'll offer the trade first. Well, it's not really a trade, but my opponent might decide to do something. Um, and then, hmm. no, I think we're just going, I think we, we are going to hold the abrupt decay here. Um, if my opponent wants to go all in on it, then that's fine with us. But obviously we will be, um, We'll be killing the Luminancer. Okay, light up the stage. Opponent really wanted to land there, I think. Let's see if they attack. They do, so we're just gonna decay here again. I do love abrupt decay at the moment. Okay, so that's the land so it's tempting to um, it's tempting to boost hex drinker up to a four try and boost hex drinker up to a four and attack for lethal but my opponent will then lava dart but are we willing to trade three mana this turn and a lava dart for the purposes of stone raining my opponent. Mm. No, I think we're happy there to just attack. Put my opponent to two. And then we can inquisition. Uh, so opponent has got you know, a lot of burn in hand. Uh, they're probably going to play the swift spear. But yeah, don't want to take a Boros charm. They've got two of those. Um, I think we'll take this light scribe just in case my opponent can get something going with that. 
boosts the other creatures so um, we got two removal spells so we should hopefully be able to get through for the last two points of damage here and we're at 18 Okay, opponent finds a land. They go down to one. That's a swift spear. And a luminancer. They're gonna bolt us. If my opponent chooses to attack, we'll just take the damage here. Um, right, so we know that my opponent's hand is Boros Charm, Boros Charm, Lava Dart. So, yeah, I think we're fine to just trophy the Swift Spear. And then Maelstrom Pulse on the Luminancer should be enough. Um, yeah, we can just Maelstrom Pulse this. And attack for lethal. Yeah, having that quantity of removal spells really did as well there. Join us again for round number two. Okay, going to be on the play here, and we see a no lander uh, into a reasonable hand. So we're going to keep this, and I think we'll bottom the maelstrom pulse. We've got two copies of abrupt decay. I think we're going to lead on treetop village here. We've got nothing to play turn one. And then, yeah, it's tempting to play um, Verdant Catacombs and Fetcher Tap Land, but okay, Temple Garden, Utopia Sprawl. So it's tempting to decay that. In fact, I think I'm going to. Okay, yeah, I think we'll just decay that. My opponent might be short on mana. Um, okay, Conclave Mentor. That's a good draw. So now we can Thought Seize. Okay, so I've got some good stuff in hand. Um, so we'll take, I think, hmm. I think we're going to take Ranger Captain just because it's a two for one. And then we'll play Dark Confidant. And then try and grind my opponent out. Um, we're probably just going to straight up abrupt decay the Spike Feeder. So this Heliod for those that may or not have seen the deck before. Looking to win with by gaining infinite life with Heliod and Spike Feeder, or dealing infinite damage with Heliod and uh, Walking Blister. Hmm. Hmm. Oriel Champion is a big problem for us. We could block here, but I think we want to take. I think we want to. Yeah, get the. Um, okay, Field of Ruins, nice. So yeah, we're just going to Inquisition. We'll take Spike Feeder. And then we could start attacking with Treetop Village. Or we, I think, yeah, I think, we're, no, I think we have to feel this. Um, we don't have to feel it just yet. They are one mana away from doing that. We're not too worried about. We could put Lurus in our hand. I think we're. Mm, I think, given that we haven't got much to do this turn, 
I don't want to risk giving my opponent um, yeah we don't want to risk giving my opponent a collected company at the end of their turn so so do take three here obviously he can't block the Oriok champion so we are, going to, we are going to want to find some sort of removal oh, that's another conclave mentor so my opponent is gaining lots of life this is the trouble this this deck is quite capable of just putting out some sort of decent value style creatures hmm, we really haven't drawn anything great um, so hmm, I think I think we're just going to put Lurus to hand and then we'll decay something um, we could decay Arbor Elf here which would stop my opponent playing something like a yeah I think I think I'm okay decaying the Arbor Elf here. I mean we're taking damage from these, but hopefully we'll be able to to do something with Lurus. But yeah, dealing with the Arbor Elf there. Um just the Um I think I'm gonna block here because we can cast Dark Confidant with Lurus next turn. So yeah, using Dark Confidant just as a removal spell there. Obviously we don't get to draw the card in our upkeep. Um, Knight's Whisper, not exactly what we're after here. Um, we are going to have to fetch a land. So we'll play Lurus. then we can play Dark Confidant. Yeah, the trouble is all of the time my opponent is kind of digging towards their, their combo. Um, something like a Ballista's uh, Skyclave Apparition's real bad. Yeah, that's a good draw from my opponent. Just because, yeah, it deals with Lurus here. I think we have to take this block again now. Okay, opponent isn't going to take. The okay, we find another land with Bob. Thought oh, no, we're not finding very good stuff though. I think we're going to night have to Knight's Whisper. Fatal Push is nice. Um. Hmm. I think trouble is this Oriok champion is just going to get us I guess we could try and block let me just play out the catacombs I think we have to pass here My opponent attacks with Oriok Champion. We can Fatal Push the Skyclave Apparition, make a blue token and then block. So yeah, we're pretty much blocking whatever we can here. Oh, that's rough. Oh, possibly should have fatal pushed in response. Um, I think we're going to have to do this now, because otherwise my opponent gets too many counters. Opponent 
it doesn't forget about the treetop village um, yeah we're in pretty poor shape here uh, two lots of tarmogoyf they are pretty big but I mean, yeah, no, this uh, Oriel Champion's really messing us up. I mean, my opponent's still at th my opponent at thirty life. Can't see there being um, much for us to to do here. Gaining uh, a lot of life here. Okay, they're just going to let our Dark Confidant kill us, I think. That is a scavenging use, so that does um, at least gain us some life back a little bit. But my opponent's gaining so much as well. I th think actually this is probably. We'd, we'd have to draw so many removal spells. Um, we can't attack very well So yeah, we're gonna eat as much stuff as we can with scavenging ooze to gain some life. Um, think we're okay to fetch here. I mean, I'm not sure any of this is really going to matter. Yeah, keep eating my opponent's creatures. We should be safe at four. That's a goif and a bauble. Um, we'll play the bauble. See what my opponent's drawing. We can turn a witness. Yeah, so we're, we're going to have to um, shuffle that away because otherwise my opponent can just get back spike feeder and win the game on the spot. Um, Play another Tarmogoyf and pass the turn. Opponent can't attack, but yeah, we, I don't actually know how we're going to kill these Oriok champions. Can we kill these Oriok champions? Is there anything in our? I guess Hex Drinker, <laughs> uh, in theory, can um can get there. There is a Hex Drinker, and we've got enough to make it um mini progenitors mode. Another Oriok champion <laughs> seems pretty good. Um, the trouble is that um, Scavenging Ooze is going to run out of creatures to eat soon. I think it's gaining so much life. They could go for some sort of attack. I mean, throwing Heliod in isn't the worst, but I guess they they don't really want us to. Uh, they don't really want to remove our Dark Confidant because that is slowly killing us. How many creatures are left to eat? Ranger Captain. Actually, Ranger Captain is the only creature left. Unfortunately. So yeah, I wouldn't expect to see an attack here. We can we need to find removal really, although fatal push isn't great because there's nothing we can actually fatal push. I guess fatal pushing our own dark confidant isn't the worst. Um but yeah, abrupt decay is fine, like maelstrom pulse. Yeah, 
yeah, hopefully this gets better post cyborg when we can find engineered explosives that can take out all these Oriok champions. I guess it would also take out all of our creatures, but don't know. Wait and see. Opponent hasn't. Well, I haven't really got any good attacks. We can just we can block things. You know, we can if they attack with one of these, we can double block with our Tarmogoyfs. I'm not sure what sideboarding we have for this. So we'll eat Ranger Captain. And now that we know that my opponent is running Eternal Witness, I guess we didn't need to actually shuffle away their Eternal Witness. Um, but we might as well shrink their graveyard anyway. Um, oh yeah, getting rid of the enchantment for the goyf is probably a little bit, a little bit silly. Mm, find a bauble. Oh, we do find a fatal push. So do we kill our own Bob? Is the question. So let's see. We could have a look at what. Let's see what my opponent's drawing. Another Heliod, so that's fine. So that's Fatal Push. Hmm. No, I think we need. I think actually we we need the cards to keep keep her at any way at all in this. So you know my opponent's finding not very much. We're at three, so we can go up to four, which should be enough to save us for a turn. Let's play the Hex Drinker, and then, yeah, we're just going to level this up. Opponent's got lots of triggers to <laughs> go through. Um, Hex Drinker is a way forward though, and we can make it big enough this turn. Is it eight? Why do you have to pay? This is a, I've got five black mana in my mana pool, Modo. Just to uh, take it out of there. Hex Drinker a good blocker now as well. There we go. Um, so yeah, we're not attacking here. Uh, my opponent has a lot of stuff. Um, oh, another hex drinker isn't actually the worst. <laughs> okay, so in our upkeep, in response to the Bob trigger, we're going to eat a creature. We find another Bob, that's not exactly what we want. Hmm, now we're in trouble. So yeah, we'll attack with Hex Drinker. Deal my opponent six damage. And then, yeah, play another Hex Drinker. One, two, three, four. We have got enough to level that one up as well, to be fair. Actually, I might just play both and then level them up part of the way. Because then we could level them. Ah, uh, yeah, that's better actually. Because then we can level them both up later. I mean, we need Bob to be fairly kind here. <coughs> um. In theory, we can slap in for um, 18 a turn with three hex drinkers, um, but Dark Confidant may just kill us here. <clears throat> Probably should have been attacking with Dark Confidant. Yeah, definitely should have been actually. 
Um, so we know our opponent has not a lot. Don't kill us, Bob. And he doesn't. Field of Ruin. So we're going to level up these Hex Drinkers. Do you get to slap in for a load of damage here? I'd be surprised if this gets there before our own Dark Confidant kills us, but. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, so we'll play a Blooming Marsh and then I guess we'll attack with that lot. Oh, I have failed. How did I miss that? Oh, oops. I missed one level off that Hex Drinker. Oh, that's so gross. Because now my opponent gets to gain 15 life as well. Oh, that's real bad. Yep. Um, oh, I can't believe I did that. Although I guess actually, I mean, being able to gain some life with scavenging use isn't the worst, but I think we would rather take our chances with Bob. I can't believe I misclicked that. Oh, <laughs> curse you, Bob. Um. Uh, abrupt Decay wasn't... Uh, abrupt Decay actually would have been fine because we could have Abrupt Decayed our own Bob. If we Abrupt Decay our own Bob... The, the tr I guess the trouble is we slap in for 12 a turn. My opponent can give one of these lifelink and we never we never win that race. So, yeah, I probably should have conceded that a little bit earlier. Right, let's go in with the Engineered Explosives. Um, I think Heartless Act is probably good. Trophy and Maelstrom Pulse. Collective Brutality is potential as well. What don't we want? So I think we want the discard. We have, we've brought in quite a lot there. Um, scavenging Use was pretty good there. And if they're running Eternal Witness, I guess we might want that. Um, Knight's Whisper. Maybe we we'll get rid of a Knight's Whisper. Uh, I guess Maelstrom Pulse is quite expensive for what it does. Um, yeah, we still need to cut four things. Let's cut a Scoos. Mm, maybe Collective Brutality isn't good enough actually. Yeah, I don't think Collective Brutality is actually good enough given that my opponent's creatures often get beyond a 2-2. Two, two. It can take a spell, but I don't think we want Spell Bomb. Do we need that many discard spells? Maybe we'll cut one Inquisition, keeping the Thought Seizes since it can take um, Collective Company. Okay, so we would like to play first. Um, uh, I mean, it's got thought season to goif. Um, actually, I think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm just going to. We're going to try and go thought seize goif, and then start attacking with raging ravine, and hope that it gets there. Um, okay, so opponent does have a path to exile. Um, how do we make this not a thing? So we could get rid of the Arbor Elf. I think we're just going to get rid of Heliod actually. If my opponent wants to path us, then they'll path us. Just uh, Arbor Elf, sure. We 
draw another land. Not really what we want. We will play out the goyf here. Be surprised to see like a path to exile here. Okay, well, we can get in because we can play this field of ruin. <coughs> play a bauble. Um, we'll bauble my opponent, I think. Let's see what they're drawing. Mm, they're drawing collected company. Okay, yeah, this is this has worked out okay actually. Um, my opponent can still path us, obviously, but um, it also shuffles away the collected company. But now we are left without a creature, which is a bit annoying. Probably should have got a forest there, to be honest. My abrupt decay is pretty good. Four cards in my opponent's hand. I found the collected company anyway. <laughs> That's not uh Snorri up champion and a spike feeder. Okay. So Okay. So what we're gonna do here is well that's a good draw. Um so have we got enough mana to do everything? No. Because I wanted to field of ruin this horizon canopy really. But I think what we're going to do is just, yeah, we need to abrupt decay this before they can move counters onto something else. Because they can move counters, if they can move counters onto this Oriok champion, we're in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, 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 we definitely need to do this because this is another way that this deck kind of goes off. That if they If they can put... Um, if they start being having the mana to move counts around then it doubles the counters via conclave mentor and then they yeah dump them all on another creature make a really big creature and we're in we're in a world of trouble but we do have a six seven tarmogoyf so my opponent can't attack as yet and then next time we do get to lure us bauble Depending on what my opponent finds, of course. Oh, they do rip a collected company off the top. And they collect a company into the combo. So my opponent gains infinite life and we lose. I hate this deck, <laughs> really. Um, I just don't like that. You know, like we're having quite a good game and then um yeah, collected company off the top off the top just wins. Um but yeah, that's the way it goes in magic. Um very powerful deck. Not sure there was much we could have done about that. Um, I think we, I think def, yeah, decaying this was definitely right, so we didn't lose the value game, but then we just lose the to the combo. So um, yeah, pretty convincing loss to Heliod there. But we'll see you again for round three. Okay, welcome back to round number three. Um, hmm. We're against the Lurus deck, so I think. Mm, we've got one fatal push and a scooze. I think we're going to keep this. You know, if it's some sort of aggressive deck, then scooze can do work. Don't want it to be something like mill, really. Thoughtseize is also bad for us. Looks like it might be shadow. Yeah, so taking our thought sees here one would imagine keeping three scavenging ooze is a don't know if scavenging ooze is good in the matchup then 
we are sort of painless manner as well which is nice in, in case my opponent's playing scourge which I imagine they are um, okay um, so in this case we'll just play the overgrown tomb tapped um, <coughs> obviously it gives our opponent information on although they knew we were drawing that I think I think they targeted us with with the bauble so for information anyway. Yeah, taking as, as little damage as possible is nice. We're going to run out of skews here. Obviously, we, we may do something different if we didn't have three of them. May wait to get some value out of it. Could be a shadow here, or two shadows, or a Tarmogoyf. Yeah, it's a Tarmogoyf. Okay, so... We draw a bauble. Uh, what we're going to do is just play out a scavenging ooze and pass the turn. And then we'll see what my opponent's drawing now. Doing this to protect our draw off bauble from a Inquisition or Thoughtseize, which my opponent has, has drawn. So we're going to see an attack here. We could block. I don't mind blocking here, actually. It would stop my opponent playing a Scourge. Is that good? No, I think we're going to take damage. I think, given that my opponent's at 12 life as well, um... Going to inquisition away a skews. Oh no, they got fatal push. Oh, they do have scourge, which is annoying. So we get to draw, we'd like to draw a removal spell, really. Hmm. We don't find one. So I think we'll play a skews. And then I'm gonna eat my scoos. Shrink scourge and makes our scoos a three three. So we can't block here though. Uh, this works like I'm pretty sure this works like Death Shadow, where if we do, if we block here, my opponent deals the damage, and then this becomes like a. 7-7 seven, seven with 3 damage marked on it. Has so got another Fatal Push? They do have another Fatal Push. So we're taking 8 here. We're going to need to find a Fatal Push or a Removal Spell. Some sort of Removal Spell. This team of Battle Rage as well? Okay, so is this lethal? We get a 12. This becomes an 8. Yeah, that's just lethal. Opponent getting there on turn four with a big scourge. Maybe we should have taken that block on the uh, the scoos. Okay, so we're going to want to get rid of most of the discard here. So I'll take all that out to start with. I want to bring in all these Maelstrom Pulses, Heartless Acts, probably Knight's Whisper, and uh, a Spellbomb to round it out is actually not too bad. Yeah, taking out the discard here due to. Um, yeah, these these grindy matchups, you just you just don't want it as much. But we've got a lot of removal now. How many removal spells this run? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> so twenty percent of our deck are removal spells. Plus we've got, in addition to the two uh, copies of engineered explosives. Hmm. So this is good if we can find a land. I think we're going to risk it. So we'll cast a bauble, play this tapped, and then we'll see what my opponent draws in their turn. 
again protecting in case, if we don't draw a land with this we're protecting our they are finding inquisition again so we are kind of dependent on finding a land It's left in Inquisitions, at least one, obviously. So probably you can see. So they targeted us, seeing what we're drawing next. So that may imply that they don't have a, sh a, a um, non-fetch land in their hand, because they might have decided they wanted the scry. So we've got a powerful hand. We do just need to draw another land. You know, we've got you know Bob's good, Goyf's good, and then two removal spells and a Knight's Whisper. I wouldn't be sub too surprised to see him take a Corrupt Decay, but they do take a Goyf. Uh, so my, uh, hmm. I think my opponent probably has. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, past the turn. Yeah, so I think my opponent has Lightning Bolt in hand. Um, either that or they were going to rely on Dark Confidant to deal us enough damage to play a Scourge. Let's see what we find. This opponent playing yeah, fetching got four cars in hand. We do have six cars in hand, but we are going to need. We desperately in need of a land here. We do find one. Okay, so I think now we're we're going to just decay this right away. Um, I do we get forest or swamp? Gonna just grab a basic swamp here, I think. Well, yeah, we're gonna decay right away um, because I'm worried about my opponent drawing Veil of Summer. We're at 19, so my opponent can play a 1 1 Scourge, but then if we find a basic forest or a blooming marsh off the top we can kill it with scavenging ooze which is interesting well I don't find the thought sees so they'll probably take mm, might take Night's Whisper here trying to starve us on lands take skews okay so maybe they have a scourge Okay, they have a hex drinker. Hmm. And this one land up. Uh, if they okay, so they don't have Veil of Summer. I think they do have Bolt though. Okay, so we want to draw a land here, really. Find another Bob. I think I'm gonna just Knight's Whisper look for a land. Oh, I, I mean the the absolute nuts there obviously was um, land black land fatal push. We do find a fatal push, but my opponent probably gonna level up this hex drinker. But Maelstrom Pulse can still deal with hex drinker. Okay, tapping this. So, yeah, definitely don't have Veil of Summer, which means they may have something they want to play with these two lands. So they might have Double Bolt. Yeah, it could be Double Bolt here, or Terminate. No, because they could do that with those two. Okay, deciding to level up the Hex Drinker. It is protection from instance, so we can just maelstrom pulse it. Could be a shadow. Oh, okay, so they do have another land. 
Okay, they get to force he's one maelstrom pulse, but we do have two, so we can still kill Hex Drinker. Um, they take a bob. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna Maelstrom Pulse this. We can't afford to mess around. If my opponent has Veil of Summer, then they have Veil of Summer. Um, we can't afford to mess around with, with Hex Drinker. Um, so that could have been a bluff by my opponent, bluffing Veil of Summer. My opponent is at six. We do have a treat on Village on the battlefield, but I'm pretty convinced at least one of my opponent's cards is Lightning Bolt. Ren and six? No, three mana. Okay, putting Lurus to hand. Makes sense. Two mana Scourge? I mean, they know we've got a lot of stuff in hand. That's a Goyf. Okay, so... That's actually not a bad draw. Um, I think, yeah, I think we're just going to go Fatal Push here. And then, yeah, we'll just play the Spell Bomb. And pass the turn, because this gets rid of everything my opponent could possibly play with Lurus. And then if, they, if my opponent decides to play the Lurus, we can just decay or pulse it in our turn. But... Let's see what they do. I'm pretty convinced they have a bolt in hand. I suppose they could have Collagan's command, so that might have been an argument for doing the spell bomb first. Some of these lists run do run a one or two of Croxa. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Maybe we want to bring in more and more spell bombs. <laughs> that is a good looking sideboard. It's looking like Lurus here. So yeah, we're just going to spell bomb my opponent now. Pay the black to draw a card. Okay, we find Hex Drinker. We wouldn't say no to another land or two. Hopefully my opponent hasn't got a bauble in hand. Okay, so we get to just... Um, hmm, if my opponent has a Veil of Summer now, we're in trouble. They don't, so we'll just go with uh, Hex Drinker. We're not going to level that up to I'm still convinced my opponent has a lightning bolt. Could have Kate, I suppose my opponent could have Collagan's command. Get back Lurus. Mm, we got thoughts he's. We do go to four for that. We have two removal spells still. I think we're ahead here. We take Dark Confidant. Taking threats. Yeah, it's looking like Collagan's command. No, it's a Scourge. Okay, so. Um, Field of Ruin. That's okay. Uh, do we want to? I think we're just going to pulse again, giving my opponent the, the fewest chances to draw a Veil of Summer. Yeah, not leveling up. Yeah, there's the bolt they've been holding on to for so long. <laughs> I was convinced they had that lightning bolt. Okay, but yeah, we have this treetop village. 
Mm, that's a shadow, but we do have a uh, an answer for that as well. Bauble. So let's see what my opponent's drawing. If it's something good. No, they're drawing a thought seize. Uh, that's a good point. Okay, so we don't want to make um hmm no I think we're happy with my opponent drawing thought sees we draw a land anyway so yeah we're just gonna trophy the shadow we could even let it go but So my opponent can't really cast the Thought Seas, well they can't cast the Thought Seas. They're dead if they do. Okay, so we're just gonna activate here. we attack put my opponent to one and we'll play a land and pass next turn if we want if my opponent plays something big we can uh, lure us bauble that does count as something big 12 12 shadow we are at 13 hmm Trouble is, oh, this is pretty rough actually. So, I actually think my opponent has thoughts he's in hand. So, I think we play Treetop Village. If my opponent draws Lightning Bolt, you got it. Because if I play my Verdant Catacombs, I'm dead to a removal spell. Here, I'm not dead to quite as much. So I think we're just gonna play Treetop Village and pass the turn. And then we'll attack with two Treetop Villages next turn. And hope that hope that's good enough. I mean we could block here how much do we like blocking here so if my opponent's got a fatal push could block here so we animate treat our village yeah I don't mind doing that actually then we've still got lethal on the swing back although if my opponent's drawn another creature god this isn't a really interesting point do let me know in the comments what you do here so let's just think about this we've got we've got several options we can animate treetop village and block we can or be that we either animate treetop village and block or we just take the damage and go to one so if we animate and block and my opponent plays a creature we're dead if we animate and my opponent has a removal spell, we probably whip. We, uh, no, if they have a removal spell, we lose anyway. So actually, yeah, no, we take this damage. We're dead. My opponent's probably sided out team of battle raids. They may have sided, they probably haven't sided out bolts. But if we animate and block, if my opponent has removal, then that's bad because then when we try and attack for lethal next turn our, we, we lose both our tree top villages one to the block if so yeah this way yeah we're not blocking here um, if my opponent has bolt or seal of fire or team of battle raids then fine we'll um, I think we're yeah they're more likely to have a creature I think um 
We know that I haven't got two removal spells. I'm gonna tap in red mana. <laughs> Is this just a troll? Okay, they do have a creature. Okay, so yeah, we win now. Yeah, because we animate two treetop villages. Let's check we've got the mana to do that. Yeah, we do, yeah. Okay, so being very careful with how we animate here. Okay, so yeah, we um, <laughs> successfully navigated that. Uh, I think we played the odds and just about won. So do we want more spell bombs is the question. Um, I don't think so. Okay, so we'll be on the play this time. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. Um, <clears throat> threats are generally very good in these these matches. You know, you want lots of threats, and this hand's got three of them. So, um, probably, you know, something's probably going to get thought seized. Okay, hex drinker. So I think we're just going to go ahead and straight up push that. Let's play a bauble see what my opponent's drawing okay they're drawing a bauble so yeah I think I think for now we're just going to do this it's a bit dubious um, especially given that they might have played the hex drink because it's just I don't know it's it's difficult that one because one of kind of play around Vale of Summer but then we also you know Okay, they've got another hex drinker. Is there another land? No second land though. So we wouldn't mind finding a fatal push now. Uh Raptor K is okay. Play that, play this. So hopefully my opponent just levels up the hex drinker and passes. Have they found their second land? Do you have this abrupt go? They have found another land. Grabs a blood crit. Plays another bauble. Cracks it targeting us. Attacks for two. And plays a scourge. Cleansing wildfire. Okay. Um gonna go and grab a forest here, I think. Well I'll grab a swamp. Wasn't expecting cleansing wildfire there really, but so yeah, we're just gonna decay this right now for the same reasons as before. Like it might be better to save the decay for a um, something like a scourge, but I think for now we just don't want to get Veil of Summer. Essentially, that that card just wins games. Opponent might be uh, struggling to play Death Shadow. Might have a handful of shadows. Putting Inverus to hand, yeah. Okay. We do have spell bomb for that. Um which we're probably gonna use to get rid of everything. Mm, we would like a land really. Um I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop spell bomb now, look for another land. Uh we don't 
don't find it, sadly. Apparently it has another land. We haven't got any removal spells either, which is a bit worrying. Uh, there's a Tarmogoyf. I think we have ah, crikey. Um, my opponent must have removal spells. We are really looking for lands here. This would make the goif bigger. I guess. I guess actually, I think we're we're now just going to start slapping goifs down. I think that's definitely going to be a fatal push in our future. Yeah, we're kind of overloaded with threats now. No fatal push. Okay, so looking like I think we're going to do this. Call my opponent's bluff here. Look, it looks like they might have like lightning bolt. Yeah, we wouldn't mind drawing some couple of lands in a row. Is the opponent going for Lurus or are they going for Shadow? Looking like a Lurus here. It is Lurus. Hopefully, they don't have Bauble. Okay, nothing like that. We have a bauble, but that's not great. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just go like this. Play another goif. Pass the turn. I mean, yeah, my opponent could still have fatal push. He chose to use the bolt. Let's see what my opponent's drawing. Cleansing wildfire again. Well, it's kind of annoying, but it's not the worst thing that they, my opponent could be drawing. Mistress Bauble is probably the thing we wanted to see the least from my opponent there. Are we going to take this again? Do we think my opponent has another lightning bolt? I think we're just going to take it this time. Then try and play another goif. We really want lands. A couple of lands in a, in a row would go Go down nicely. We're getting thoughts used. Cracking a land. Bloodstained Mire. Okay, so they're not going for the peat land. Okay, double mm, double blooming marsh, but I mean we'll we'll take any land at this point. Well, when it is at 10. So we know that my opponent has cleansing wildfire. Um, <clears throat> Colligan's command? Nothing to get back. Okay, I think spell bomb could actually be a lot better than I gave it credit for. I think, yeah, because we wouldn't mind drawing a spell bomb at some point. Yeah, opponent saving the cleansing wildfire for another treetop village, I think. Assassin's trophy? Yeah, they are trophying. So that's uh, fine by me. We do need a land. Um. <coughs> So next turn we can potentially deploy two threats. 
uh, are we taking this block probably not now <clears throat> so we think my opponent has lightning bolt do that scourge could be something like croxer uh, is a scourge so we really need to find removal now yeah hmm, hex drinker not going to cut it um <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, that scourge has really turned the tables in favour of my opponent. Um, do we? I think I'm going to Knight's Whisper, hope to hit some sort of removal spell. As I say, twenty percent of my. Oh, now we're flooding. Um. Play. Hex drinker, and we'll play a bob. Just as blockers, really. This has really, really turned, turned quite nasty. Yeah, we're in. Uh, yeah, from drawing, sort of no lands, we've now drawn all lands. When we were looking, we we're desperately looking for um, for spells specifically removal spells but it looks like my, my opponent hasn't really done anything if it's like a thought seizer in position oh, they do a fatal push that's pretty rough yeah this is really rough so that was likely their top deck otherwise they would have done it at instant speed oh crikey yeah opponent got kind of everything here and we're just dead yeah, GG's. Oh, that's a shame. We were doing quite well there, but we really needed to hit our land drops sooner. Um, but that's how it goes. Okay. See you for round number four. Okay, round number four. It's going to be on the uh, on the play. Uh, we have to mulligan this. Can't even scry with the uh, the bauble. This is better. We're going to keep this. Uh, I think we'll keep the treetop village. I think we'll bottom a fetch land. <coughs> We're going to uh, use the bauble to to scry here. See if there's something we want on top. Um, We only want Field of Ruin if we're against Tron, really. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, shuffle that away. Pass the turn. We've got an untapped land to play a Tarmogoyf next turn, or a Bob, depending on... Okay, <laughs> so I've not seen that before. So this could be like, oops, all spells. Or it could just be um, something where that's using that for value, some sort of creature taxes deck. I think we're going to play Dark Confidant here. Try and draw some more cards. Next turn, if we don't draw anything very good, we'll play Treat Up Village Goyf. Okay, so it's not Oops or Spells. Okay, so it's some sort of tokens which. Um, Historically, we struggle with <coughs> double bauble, so we can now use this to scry. Not going to throw our dark confidant into one of their soldiers, so we'll look at what we're drawing. Um, another treetop village. Not really what we want, um, so we'll just cast a goif, and then. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go and get another tap land here and pass the turn. Yeah, not wanting to. Um... Okay, so yeah, this is just a. Um... See what my opponent's drawing here. Yeah, so this is mono white tokens, I think. 
Uh, Saffron Olive used to play a list with this kind of thing. What did they exile? They exiled a Raise the Alarm. Yeah, so they're getting a lot of um, a lot of two two attackers here, and this is going to be that Convoke. Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> we're in trouble here. But Engineered Explosives out of the sideboard is going to be very interesting for us. Um, Okay, we draw Inquisition, but we know my opponent has nothing nothing in hand. We can't actually attack into this venerated Loxodon. Um, hmm, this is really not ideal. There is a sorcery in the graveyard. So I think we're just going to play the forest, play out two Tarmogoyfs, but it's not looking good for us here. opponent um, obviously got a pretty pretty good start but we're just dead to these things in the air next turn if we don't find a removal spell mouse and pulse would be nice um, unfortunately we're just dead <laughs> Uh, we could play, I suppose, no we can't even play Lurus, we've got no way of drawing a card. Yeah, we uh, die in short order to mono white tokens here. But our two engineered explosives in the sideboard are going to be good. Um, as is, I think we want the collective brutalities and the maelstrom pulse definitely. We probably don't want Assassin's Trophy or too many of those and Abrupt Decay is probably not massively good either I think we want we'll take out the Knight's Whisper <coughs> they're not likely to be playing Lingering Souls if there are mono white um, Abrupt Decay it's interesting but I think I think if we want removal we'd rather have um, things like Heartless act. So I think we'll take out some decays. We, like the spot removal gets so much worse here. Um, maybe we want something like the Knight's Whispers to try and because the cards we really want are Males from Pulse and uh, let's get rid of this trophy. The cards we really want are Males from Pulse and Engineered Explosives. Um, I think the the discard is important to try and stop their their really aggressive starts. I think we'll go with that. Um, yeah, we're, we're really going to be looking for engineer explosives in our early on in the game. Okay, so we're going to mulligan this. Fairly easy mulligan. Um, hasn't got any pressure. I think we will keep this. <laughs> We've had a lot of uh, scavenging use in this league. Um, it's not the best hand we've ever seen. But um, collective brutality, not bad. Uh, let's see what my opponent's drawing. Okay, so they are drawing the Force of Virtue again. <coughs> Which is obviously pretty good. Okay, so we draw Thought Seize. Okay, so actually I quite like Inquisition and Thought Seize here. We just want to stop my opponent flooding the board with stuff. Rest in peace is annoying. I haven't actually got any. What's this? Is that a land? So they haven't actually got any um, removal spells. Uh, sorry, any creatures. So I'm going to take this rest in peace just because it's quite annoying. And then we'll thought seize. I think we might thought seize the force of virtue if they don't go for it here. Yeah, so we're going to take the force of virtue because then we can collective brutality the um oh, a 
okay so we know we've got planes in how I accidentally removed that um, yeah we, we we know that we can get rid of the path and we're actually not too concerned if my opponent chooses to path our scavenging ooze given that we need we need lands so yeah we'll um, just play out the skews here hopefully my opponent hasn't found a raise the alarm or something opponent declining to path yeah that's um that's pretty good for my opponent hmm so we're going to attack here we'd be happy to trade this scavenging ooze for two tokens at this point i think um so if we play i think at this point we're going to escalate collective brutality We'll kill and get rid of a spell. And we'll get rid of a scavenging ooze. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna take the uh we're just taking the spell that that means my opponent can Yeah, we we need to stop as many tokens as we can, essentially. <clears throat> the scavenging use can eat our own scavenging use to gain some life if needed oh I found that convoke thing that's pretty good we find a land so I think we're just gonna we'll play Bob here and then if my opponent wants to path us they have to do it in our in their turn really because otherwise we get a trigger from bob and then we can um <coughs> if they attack with this it might be worth double blocking Okay, they're just going for another. That's pretty good. So we'll eat our own scavenging use here. It does make our goif smaller, but I think we want to gain the life at the moment. Because we're under a lot of pressure in there. We really need to find engineered explosives. Fatal push isn't actually too bad. Um thing. Oh, we really need to find that AE. I think we're just going to play out Goif. Hmm. Yeah, there's no creatures to eat, so. <coughs> yeah, this venerated Loxodon is pretty good. Yeah, we need to find engineered explosives. I mean, Path to Exile from my opponent is actually pretty good here because they can stop us if we find maelstrom pulse maybe we should have mulliganed harder to engineered explosives um, we're going to push one of these spirits let's try and limit the bleeding here So really looking for engineered explosives. No, finds a land. Hmm, we may die here. So we haven't got any creatures in the yard. I remember playing against uh, tokens at my local FNM, and um, <laughs> it's always been a, a massive nightmare for. For black green x decks um i think we're just gonna i think we have to just play bob we're gonna take five and then we have to hope that we get some kind bob triggers i think we're at, at that point in the game um I mean, we 
could attack with Goyf. Yeah, let's attack with Goyf. Opponent's, opponent's pathing the Goyf, which I'm not sure I agree with, but um, I think they're so far ahead. Maybe that, maybe that means they've got another path to exile. Um, we're actually dead to a few things here. We've got a double trigger from Bob to live through, but I think it was worth it there. I don't know. I suppose, yeah, we need to, we need Bob to do a solid here. Inquisition, please no. <laughs> Treetop Village, engineered explosives. Oh, it is engineered explosives. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, Bob still has the potential to kill us here. Do we attack with one Bob? So you, we want to get Lurus to hand. We can get Lurus to hand and play Engineered Explosives for zero. Hmm. Let's attack with a Bob. Yeah, I think we'll attack with a Bob. My opponent probably won't block. We could attack with, well, we can't really attack with two Bobs actually because we need a blocker for Venerated Loxodon. Come on, we want, we want my opponent to block there really. <laughs> okay, so we get, if we play Treetop Village, we get to Put Lurus in hand and crack it, and crack in engineered explosives, which is what we want to do. Play Treetop Village, engineered explosives for zero. So our uh, <laughs> sequence of plays rewarded. Bob did find us that, um, but we may just die to. Bob triggers, unless my opponent attacks with venerated Loxodon. No, they're being uh, fairly smart. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna have to blow this up. I mean, if we, if Bob, if Bob's are kind to us here, um, uh, another venerated Loxodon, which is fine we just need um i mean bob did us a solid last turn we need at least one land really uh we have there's just double check there's no creatures in the bin so we can't gain life with skews come on dark confidant that's another engineered explosives come on nothing yeah we do live and that engineered explosives lets us kill our dark confidants Greatness at any cost. And we find a Maelstrom Pulse. So we can Maelstrom Pulse these and then eat them both with Scavenging Ooze. And then, yeah, okay. <laughs> we're, we're getting some stuff done here. Um, that's, that's pretty good. Um... I doubt my opponent has anything with haste. We could Inquisition here, which I don't mind. Um, or we could play Lurus and Bauble. <coughs> I guess the, I don't think we can play Lurus because we need, to, if my opponent has Path to Exile, we need to be able to gain life. We could have. Um, most impulse our own bobs but I think this is the better play I think we're going to inquisition now and then we can eat both things um, we'll play out the catacombs I doubt my opponent is running thought seas 
but we could play out the engineered explosives on zero. Uh, no, actually, because um, it's difficult because next turn we may want to play engineered explosives for two. So I think we're just going to hold here. You know, we can engineer explosives on zero anyway next turn. We know what my opponent's got in hand. We're at one life. Okay. So again, we're relying on Bob's doing us, uh, doing us well. Maybe we should have, mm, maybe we should have mouse and pulse the Bob's. We'll eat my opponent's creatures, and we need Bob to do us, do us uh, a solid again here. There's uh, nothing further to eat. If we can live this turn, I think we're actually in very good shape. Come on, Dark Confidant. That's a thought seize. So no two or three drop and we're good. Yes, we get that. <laughs> Greatness at any cost. Oh, my opponent concedes. <laughs> okay, well that was <laughs> Dark Confidant really coming in clutch there, finding us the exact things we needed. Um, but we found the line and we, uh, we win that game. Uh, I mean, we've got to win another one, but pretty happy with that um, right so what do we want to do here uh, do we want to bring in any more spot removal so scavenging ooze was excellent um, we saw my opponent has brought in rest in peace so maybe the decays get a little bit better Maybe we're cutting Goif. Like Goif is just not gonna, Goif's just gonna struggle to get through. I think we'll cut one Goif weirdly for an abrupt decay. Um, do we wanna cut another? think we'll leave it we did have a we, mm, we definitely want the discard because discarding before they cast the spells is very, obviously obviously very good most of their stuff has flying so tarmacoy is just not that great i think we're going to cut another goyf for an abrupt decay run two goyfs two decays see what happens okay here we go Game three. Um, I think we're going to mulligan this. Uh, it's only got two actual spells. This is this is better. Um, we're going to bottom. I think we'll bottom the tree top here. It is good at punching through damage, but yeah, actually, I think. I think we'll keep the treetop. Um, our first turns are likely going to be uh, casting inquisitions anyway. Okay, Dark Confidant, the saviour of the last match. Okay, so... Oh, that's annoying that Spectral Procession is more mana. Uh, let's take the we'll take the instant so that if my opponent decides to do something else next turn we can inquisition the gather and they can't do it in response yeah annoying that spectral procession because it has these twos in that actually counts as cmc6 that's very annoying So I think we're just going to play Bob here. We could Inquisition Hex Drinker, but don't think that's what we want to be doing. I think Bob is required. We, again, we're just looking for um, for engineered explosives now. Uh, 
as my opponent has a lot of creatures on the board. Again, maybe we should have been mulliganing to that. There's the Loxodon. Okay, opponent getting in for one. So we haven't taken much damage. If we can find engineered explosives, Bob is drawing us two cards a turn. Come on. Hex Drinker. Brutality. Not actually the worst here. We're going to play Treetop Village. Uh, we could play another Dark Confidant, but I think, again, I kind of think we need to stop the bleeding here. Because we're being attacked for a lot of damage next turn. I think we're going to escalate th three times. Uh, we'll kill a flyer. We'll discard one Hex Drinker and an Inquisition. Okay, they've got another Loxodon. Yeah, again, we're in the position now where it's kind of uh, engineered explosives or bust. Unfortunately. Trouble is we're taking a lot of damage as well. Yeah, I don't think... 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think we have to let let them attack for the lot here. Sadly, this is going to be anticlimactic uh, end to this game, I think. Unless we find engineered explosives. Maelstrom Pulse is interesting, but we're at 3. We play Blooming Marsh, we pulse these, we block here. Yeah, sadly we're dead. <laughs> After a, a valiant stand in game two, um, we do go down to mono white tokens. Um, yeah, maybe we should have mulliganed harder. Um, annoyingly, we are one and three. Let's uh, see if we can bring back the four and uh, the two and three. See you for round number five. Okay, uh, last round, we're going to mulligan this. If this was a Blooming Marsh, we might consider it. Um, or even a Swamp, we got two discard spells, but... Um, I, right, okay, yeah, we're going to keep this. Get rid of a Decay. I mean, Inquisition into Bob can, uh, is always good. <coughs> Blackleaf Cliffs into Thoughtseize, so this is Jund in all likelihood. Probably take the Bob here. Yep. Okay, so that's another threat, which is um which is good. Um Crocs is annoying. I think we're just going to take the collagans though, and yeah. Mm. A little bit surprised my opponent didn't play Crocs there. Okay, so we could play Scavenging Ooze. But I'm pretty afraid my opponent's drawn Liliana. But if we don't play the Scoos here, my opponent, if we thought sees instead, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna play the Scoos. Um, I think we'll fetch shot. Play Scoos. <clears throat> my opponent actually hasn't got a removal spell at the moment. Um, if they have Liliana, then I think. But I think here it's better to do this because we we want to thought seize the Bloodbraid Elf. Uh, often against this, often in the kind of in a, in a matchup where you're playing against a, a potential Liliana of the Veil, you you might not want to play a creature on to just get edicted. Okay, so they don't find one. Um, they haven't got a land to get back. We are going to need to kill that. Uh, so we're going to Thought Seize the Bloodbraid Elf. That's pretty, pretty easy choice. 
um, and then so we know my opponent doesn't have too much stuff so we're going to play treetop actually yeah scavenging ooze isn't bad against uh, against croxa we'll eat right now <coughs> get maximum damage um, I suppose we could have held the Scoo's activation for to eat the peatland that in case my opponent goes Ren and Six. Goes for it with Ren and Six. But um yeah. Scoo's obviously good for keeping Croctor out. Okay, so they are drawing a card with Peatland. There's the tomb. Hopefully it's just Crocs are here. Oh, time growth's pretty good. But we have, do have the decay. Oh, that's a nice draw as well. So is there any way? No, I think we I think we're just decaying here. So we'll decay the goif. Attack Renan six. And then I think we're happy to play the Bob. We know my opponent has Crocs, so I hope they haven't found a Bloodbraid Elf. Uh, they're drawing cards here. Oh, Renan 6 is pretty brutal there because it kills our Dark Confidant. Uh, Inquisition's not bad here. Yeah, we're, we're going to cash it in. We can still activate. Okay, so my opponent actually has nothing. So now we're definitely not activating. Uh, we'll eat my opponent's goif as well, seeing as we haven't really got anything else to do. We do now have a 5-5 five, five scavenging ooze. <coughs> and we've dealt with the crocs, sir. Opponent's got lands in hand. Okay. There's a bauble. Um, oh, we do have, do have l the ability to get Lurus as well. I wonder if we're just attacking here. I think we want to draw the card in case my... I think we're just going to attack, get Lurus. So we'll put Lurus into our hand. Let's see what we're drawing. We want to do this. We're drawing Thoughtseize. So I think we want to put Lurus into our hand. The reason we are cracking the bauble now is so that we can draw in my opponent's upkeep to play around Collagan's command. Uh, making us discard the Lurus. She'd much rather discard uh, Thoughtseize than Lurus, obviously. Looking like a Blood Braid Elf. Liliana would be pretty annoying. Okay, so it is Liliana. Yeah, so Sacrifice is a creature. So, response will eat my opponent's peatland here. So we're gonna have some choices here. Um, okay, so opponent graciously giving us full information because uh, we know that they've just got stomping ground in hand because they played a land we didn't know about. Okay, so we find a land. So that's really good actually because now we can go Lurus. We could play Scavenging Ooze, but I think we're gonna play Bob here. Go to draw some more cards. Yeah, Lurus is just so good. <coughs> Wonder if there's a deck with um, Lurus and Jund. Lurus buying back Ren and Six seems really strong. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if uh, if anyone's got a decent list. Decent list with uh, Lurus Jund. Yeah, we'll discard our Thoughtseize. Hopefully they haven't found a Croxer. No? Okay, so again, we've got full information now. 
Um, okay, opponent concedes. So we get there game one against Jundler, it's really uh, coming handy there. Just shows the power of having a starting the game with eight cards in hand, <laughs> essentially. Uh, right, so we're going to take out all. We've got eight cards to remove there, um, and we're going to bring in Mouse and Pulse, Assassin's Trophy, all of the Knights Whispers, and the Heartless Act. And then, uh, is there anything in here we don't want? Don't think so. So it's spell bombs versus engineered explosives. I think we're going to go with spell bombs, given that my opponent is on Renin Six and Croxa. See, that's pretty clean, uh, clean sideboarding there. Eight cards in, eight cards out. I uh, should say I pulled this list pretty much straight from Modo, um, the sorry, the from Goldfish, MC Goldfish. Um, can't remember exactly which list it was, um, but I'll put the list in the in the uh, description. Uh, yeah, this is a fine hand. We've seen a lot of scavenging use this uh, this league, but it has been has been pretty good to us. Oops, my opponent kept in a uh, discard is the question. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna double bauble here, and then we'll play this, and then we're gonna leave it until my opponent's turn to crack these in case my opponent does draw thoughtsies. Okay, so we'll see what my opponent's drawing. They're drawing a croxer, which is obviously pretty good. And now we're gonna just wait and see what they do so that we can uh, judge our scry. Are they gonna play the Croxer? It is Croxer, okay. So um, we're gonna discard a land here, I think. Probably should have looked to see what we were drawing. We wouldn't mind finding another land now. We are drawing two cards. Knight's Whisper. We kind of want that. We kind of want Knight's Whisper. I think we're happy to draw another one, Knight's Whisper. Hmm. We are very happy to draw Nihil Spellbomb. Uh, we're going to get a shock land here, so we have to play the spell bomb past the turn. Again, we're going to try and draw a land here. <clears throat> we're going to spell bomb at the end of my opponent's turn, pretty much whatever. Um, again, this is where we don't really want to play. Hmm. Okay. That's a little bit annoying, but we can can kill it. Okay, so they mill us. Okay, so we're gonna spell bomb my opponent. We do draw a land, which is pretty nice. Okay, yeah, fatal push is pretty good as well. So we're gonna play out a land and then we'll play scavenging ooze. Again, my opponent could be holding on to a Liliana here. Mm, Lightning Bolt's pretty good. We could consider Maelstrom Pulse in the Ashok, but it's not doing us too much here. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna fade push here. Um obviously Veil of Summer is annoying, but okay, another fatal push is fine. So let's go scavenging ooze. I think we're just gonna eat now. Um maybe we should be holding up fatal push instead. But I don't want my opponent drawing Collagan's command and then waiting until we activate.
Okay, opponent's drawn red and six, so we're a little bit punished for uh, for doing that. Okay, but we get to kill red and six. Uh, not quite kill red. Well, we could pulse it. Um, in fact, I think we ha I think we're priced into pulsing it here. Just, I think we're just going to kill both my opponent's planeswalkers. Um, we can't afford to have my opponent draw two cards each turn. <clears throat> um, actually, I guess yeah, no, that that was that was poor play there. Um, we could have just eaten this with scavenging ooze. Okay, that's a Croxer. Uh, hopefully my opponent can't play it this turn. Uh, we're going to get rid of Knight's Whisper here. We've got enough of them, and we need a way to kill Croxer if my opponent has a, another red land, which it looks like they don't. Ugh, Liliana's brutal. Yeah. Okay, Field of Ruin. So my opponent has no cards in hand. Um, okay, so we're going to hold the field, I think. Uh, let's draw two, actually. And then, okay, that's not bad. So we'll play... Hmm, we're going to want to... Hmm, this is interesting. So my opponent's going to, I think we're going to, yeah, I think we're, I think we're attacking with treetop. We don't want to have to discard loads of cards. Attack Lily. My opponent spends quite a lot of resources um, getting the crocs are down. Yeah, so we're a little bit punished for our scavenging use line uh, a few turns back. So this is looking like a croxer. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of our Hex Drinker here, I think. Although Fatal Push, play Hex Drinker, make it protection from instant seems good. Yeah, I, I think I like that more. Okay, opponent plays a land. Looks like they're going to crack Pete land. Okay, so we're just going to go Fatal, mm, fatal Push here. Play our land. Play Hex Drinker. And then level it up. A couple of times. Uh, to be fair, we might as well level it up again because then next time we can make it kind of progenitus mode. Um, Uh, opponent going to be digging for Liliana quite hard, I'd imagine. Here, they haven't quite got enough cards in in her in uh, their graveyard for Croxer. They need one more. Um, okay, so hmm, we could get Lurus, play Lurus, but it doesn't really do much for us. I think we're just going to level this up. Give it protection from everything. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we're weirdly we're, we're going to shock this in. And then we're going to attack for six. So yeah, we're shocking this in and not attacking with Treetop Village. So the so a couple of things. Um, if my opponent has Fatal Push, we don't want them Fatal Pushing our Treetop Village. 
and if my opponent has finds Liliana of the Vale, we we want to be able to animate Treetop Village as a um, as something to sacrifice. They find a Tarmogoyf, which isn't too bad. Okay, so they are choosing to attack. So we could block um, the treetop, but I think we're okay not blocking here. Maybe that's wrong. Hmm, wanted to find fatal push there, really. So we're gonna just attack with uh, with the snake. Actually, we can play Lurus, play. We can get Lurus, play Lurus, play Scavenging Use here. Or Tarmogoyf, get Lurus. Play Lurus. Oh, need an extra black. <coughs> and then I think we're just going to play Goyf. I think it's the, the biggest thing we've got. Um, and there we go, my opponent's dead next turn to Hex Drinker. So, yeah, opponent needs, actually we might just be dead here. Oh no, because we gain life with this. We're dead to removal for Lurus. Well, one mana, because if my opponent can remove well, if my opponent can remove this, we just die to the attackers. Um, if my opponent can somehow... Yeah, so we're definitely blocking here. I think we're just blocking the Tarmogoyf. Um, yeah, we'll gain some life. And I think, yeah, yeah, we're just... We're throwing away Lurus here, but we know that my opponent's dead next turn. If my opponent's found Liliana the Veil now, we lose. Um... Oh no, because we can attack with treetop. Okay, yeah, I think we're we're good here. We go to four. I mean, if my opponent has something like no, like, I'm not sure what the rationale behind that was. Okay, we get there against Jund, so we redeem ourselves with a a win in the last one against Jund. Lurus, I mean, yeah, I mean, Lurus just won us that. Um, but yeah, good to uh, good to get at least uh, back to the two three. Hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, please do subscribe if you want to see some see some more mid range magic, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.